How to style emo hair. Emo hairstyles are designed to reflect the personality and individuality of the wearer. The style is quite closely related to punk hairstyles and often has multiple colours, spikes, asymmetrical layers and fringes swept across the face. The bulk of the hair is usually dyed dark colour with bright blocks and streaks of other colours. For most emo hairstyles you'll need to go to the hair salon, at least for the cutting and colouring. So to learn more about emo hairstyling techniques, we've come to Colour Nation Hair Salon in London where stylist Val Malia is going to give his model Illy an emo hair makeover. Step 1. Colour. When you're styling emo hair, you need to decide what the main colour is going to be and then choose colours for the panels and streaks that will complement it. Here Val is going to give Illy some bright copper streaks and then colour the rest of her hair a rich dark brown. Paint the colour onto the strands of hair using a palette for support. Then wrap them up in foil. Val is using a specially formulated hair colour mixed in the salon. It contains bleach so that the hair doesn't have to be pre-bleached before adding the new colour. For a real emo look, use a brighter colour on the inner layers of the hair, so that it's revealed through the outer layers which hang over the top. Next, colour the rest of the hair with the main colour, which is usually the darkest colour, making sure it goes all the way from the roots to the tips. As with all hair colouring, leave it on for the recommended time, and then wash it out thoroughly. Step 2. Cutting. One of the main characteristics of emo hair is that it is cut into layers of varying different lengths. Here Val uses a technique called point cutting, cutting the ends of the hair at an angle rather than straight. Having a fringe swept over the face is also typical of the emo look, so Val cuts a long asymmetrical fringe down over one side of the face. When cutting layers into the hair, cut shorter layers on top to reveal the different coloured layers beneath. Step 3. Styling. Emo hair is almost always straight, so blow dry the hair to take out any waviness or curls. Pull the hair quite taut with the brush as you blow dry. This will help it straighten out. After blow drying, Val uses a razor on Illy's hair to thin it out so it's not quite so thick, especially towards the ends of the hair. Razor the outer layers of the hair to reveal the colouring on the layers beneath. This will make the transition between the different colours look more graded. Next, use hair straighteners to straighten the hair even more and to make it look compact and defined. Emo hairstyles have quite a lot of volume on top and get thinner towards the ends of the hair. To give the hair more volume on top, back comb and blow dry it near the roots. Use hairspray to fix the hair this way. Do this with the head hanging downwards to increase the effect even more. Step 4. Fine tuning the look. Next, use hair wax to give the look more definition and shape. Here Val is using a glossy hair wax to add shine as well. Style the hair so it is compact towards the ends, but still has volume at the top. To really finish off the look, use dark makeup around the eyes to emphasise that moody emo look. And that's it! The emo hair makeover is complete, giving Illy her own unique hairstyle. Now you can experiment with these techniques to create exciting new emo styles. Done!